<laughs> well, hello guys! I'm Juan, I'm here, and it's been only one week. Yeah, it feels like an eternity, but it's only been one week since we have a president, a new guy. Save us all! Somebody save me! Save us all! So much has happened in this past week. It feels that where we are now and where we were in the beginning of the year, you know, January 1st, a couple of weeks ago, are two completely different countries now. If this is how America is gonna be great again, and I, I feel like we're in the middle of a movie. Even though this is just the beginning, I really do feel like this is in the part of the movie or the telenovela, whichever one you watch, where the bad guy is always winning and he gets his way. As any president, Donald Trump started setting executive orders <laughs> left and right. It was an executive order party. It was like Beyonce, you know, dropped her hidden album in an executive order form. Donald Trump had became obsessed this first week with doing what he said he was gonna do to his voters. He has frankly, so far, only been president to those who voted for him. The rest of us, well, I can't go one by one every executive order that he has signed because it's too fucking many, it's too much. Can't keep up. Every hour there's a, a, there's a new thing. Since I can't, I, I just can't. I've looked into it and I can't, I can't. So, even though I will get to all of them, we're just gonna randomly, randomly, you know, extremely vet just a couple of the extreme, uh, I mean, extreme, they are extreme, executive orders that he has signed this week. Anyway. Here's the set. Melody ball set. Yeah. Okay. Do you regret it now? No? Okay. I'll ask again later. Right through this week, Trump went to not the press, not his press secretary. He didn't release a press release, a statement, nothing. He tweeted out that he was going to have a big day about national security. We knew what was coming. This effing wall that he wants to build that will automatically make immigration obsolete. Okay, so he said he was gonna build this wall. He was gonna, do, he signed an executive order saying that the planning for the wall had to start immediately. Yes, he did. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Whoever's watching. Now, his full promise was that Mexico was gonna pay for the wall. Mexico said, and eh, slow your roll, buddy. We're not paying for the wall. Having a meeting plan with the Mexican president for the 31st, Trump then said, well, if you're not gonna pay for the wall, then don't come. The Mexican president then said, okay, not coming. <laughs> then Trump came up with the beautiful idea of, okay, you don't want to pay for it? Well, this is how I'm going to make you pay for it. I'm going to give you a 20% increase of tax on all your exports to the United States. So imports coming in here, which means that we Americans are getting screwed over because we're going to pay for the wall anyway. So it's coming out of our taxpayer money and it's gonna come out of our avocado, our tequila, margaritas, our, you know, taco money. Do you regret it yet? No. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's keep going. Then, <laughs> Trump signed an executive order, okay, increasing the number of deportations. Mass deportations for everybody. You get deported, you get deported, you get deported, everyone gets deported. And he also increased the number of crimes that could be, um, you know, dealt with with a deportation. And basically saying that really the cops can just stop you if they feel that you're a threat and ask you for your papers. And this is where it gets juicy. Then he said that he would defund, or not defund, he will not issue um, federal funds to these sanctuary cities that are helping, he says, that are helping criminals and aliens. San Diego, New York, and Boston, they're fighting back because they're saying that no, they stand by their immigrants and they will continue to be sanctuary cities and reject the executive order signed by the president. Yes, suck it to him. 
Yes, yes, keep them coming, keep them coming, Miami. No, Miami decided to bend over backwards for the orange baboon and decided that they're not a sanctuary city and that police should abide by the uh, executive order. Really? First, you want to give all your electoral votes to this guy. You voted for this guy. Now, you're going to bend over backwards and just, you know, do this crazy thing he wants you to do. You do remember that hurricane season is in June, right? Okay. Do you regret it yet? No? You guys are a tough crowd, but... Let's keep going. Then, on Friday, finally, Friday, you know, maybe the weekend, he's supposed to take a day off? No, you're wrong. Because he signed an executive order banning Muslims from entering the country. He stated seven countries from the Middle East where we're banning Muslims from, apparently. But he just excluded some countries that have, you know, some asterisks on them. And those asterisks are Trump Towers or Trump businesses. Funky, no? I'm just saying that he deliberately omitted those countries from the list. Especially Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is where some of the terrorists came from, from 9-11. And they are not banned. They could come in and out. So, what's really good, Trump? Here is the problem that I have with the border, the immigration deportation, and the Muslim ban. They are discriminatory. Whichever way you look at it, you are discriminating against a group of people. We're all effing immigrants. This country was built on immigration. This from people fleeing religious persecution. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? With the border, he wants to build a border. And Congress is like, okay, we'll front the $12 billion to, to build this wall that you want. This Trump wall. But, Flint still does not have clean water. We're two and a half minutes to midnight on the doomsday clock because of environmental change and climate change. But no, we have 12 to 14 billion dollars to fund this damn wall. But everyone was complaining about how Obama left the economy. Like, I, I don't get it. You can't be broke and then have the money for this expensive ass wall that you want. It doesn't work that way. There you have it. Week one of Donald Trump being president. Well, thank you for watching. Make sure you give these videos a thumbs up if you agree with me or if you don't, don't watch again. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to my channel and then come back next week for more here on That's Juan. I'm Juan and I'll see you guys next week. Ay, 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 Dios mío, please help us. Ay, Dios mío, que vamos a hacer